Alrighty. I found an integral for every beginner's worst nightmare. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, this textbook looking integral. Here, we factor this, right? It's a very common factor, 1 minus x. You can factor x squared and you also get x squared 1 minus x as well. So this means that you get this. Now, do you do partial fractions? Only if you love to. But for me, I hate partial fractions, especially advanced partial fractions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let x equal tangent theta. Now, if this was not 1 plus x squared or something else, then I would be doomed to do partial fractions. But 1 plus x squared, if you ever see this, let x equal tangent theta. Unless you have something else with it, then you're you're screwed. Uh, but simply, it's just this. So, of course, I'm going to take the shortcut, the, take the short way route, take advantage of that, and I should end up getting what d theta of one minus tangent theta. Now, does this make it any easier? Not exactly, no. But it, it does make it more comfier if you know this integral here. Let's see, cosine, cosine theta. Right, do you remember this integral? You remember about cloning the cosine? Ah, uh, yes. So, I'm more comfortable this way, even though it's, it, again, it's not an easy integral. None of, none, no pathway is easy for this integral. Either you take partial fractions, or you do this. Do with this uh, difficult trig integral. Now, I've seen this way too many times that I'm just, I'm, it's more comfortable for me. So you choose whichever, choose a path that you are more comfortable with. Choose, choose the method that you're most, or not exactly a method, but a pathway to a different integral that you are most comfortable with. Because the more comf the comfier the integral you have, the quicker it is for you uh, and uh, you're less likely to make mistakes. Okay, or it doesn't have to be about, oh, it's not that this integral is faster, it's just this integral for me is just more comfier, meaning that I'm less prone to making mistakes. Does that make sense? So that's why I chose this route rather than the partial fractions. Partial fractions could possibly be faster, but because I'm more comfortable with the longer way route, I can just do it no problem because I can flow. I can flow with this integral. Oh, okay, this is like, what, a half, and then minus, what, and then whatever, right? So, because I, I know this integral a lot, I'm very comfortable with it, so I could just, you know, dive right in and such. In this case, I have, what, cosine, I'm sorry, this is cosine minus sine theta, and then plus sine theta. That should be a plus. I'm sorry. Cosine theta plus sine theta. Right. Or minus, I, abbreviation, I guess. So, and then this is just simply uh, theta, not x. Okay. And then be careful as well that this is, this is u, c minus s. du means I need negative s, negative c. So, of course, this is l a half. Don't forget the half. ln of cosine theta minus sine theta. Okay, so this is theta, again is not half, it's, and then you plug in uh, theta, you get a half of inverse tangent of x minus a half of ln of, and then whatever, uh, cosine theta minus sine theta, uh, whichever. You can actually uh, turn this in terms of what? You can go like this, secant theta, multiply top and bottom by secant theta, so you get 1 minus tangent theta, and so this is actually 1 minus x over the square root of 1 plus x squared plus c. Okay, so that is that, and you can tell like if I split this up, I think that's what the answer is written, if I check my answer, yeah, it's like split it up because they, they use partial fractions. So, 
Uh, there you go. Okay. Minus ln of? Is, is it supposed to be minus? Oh, okay. I was going to say, I thought I messed up here. But no, no. It's just uh, simplified. They hella simplified this. But yeah, there you go. So that's my answer. So again, if you're more comfortable with partial fractions, do that. I prefer you do partial fractions if you're more comfortable that way. If you're more comfortable with trig manipulation like me, then take this route and then do it. Okay? Because it's faster and it's you're less prone to making mistakes. Okay? So again, if you can turn an integral into two different routes of integration or two different forms of integral, uh, choose the one that you are most comfortable with because even though it may take you longer, uh, your flow will will be will make it is what makes it faster and you're less likely to make a mistake so which means you're more you're gonna be more accurate as you rush okay all right I hope that helps and I'll see you guys in the next video